Hey everyone, so today I'm going to tell you about a rookie uh, bird watching mistake I've made. So this is my bedroom window behind me, and so I hung this extra feeder, I, I just had it around, um, I hung it outside my bedroom window so I can watch, you know, in the morning. Um, and because it was just extra, I've been using just the cheapest food I can find. Uh, well, as I've said in previous videos, uh, bird feed that has uh, a lot of corn or millet in it, um, I consider those fillers. So naturally the, the cheapest bird feed has a lot of corn and millet, uh, which is also the favorite food of sparrows. Uh, so most, uh, I live in Northeast Texas, so most breeds of sparrows, species of sparrows are fine. But then I started having house sparrows come around. Now, if you are trying to uh, bring bluebirds into your backyard or purple martins, you don't want house sparrows around. They're actually an invasive species. I think they're originally from the Middle East, um, but they've gotten here uh, in North America and they've just caught on like wildfire. So um, they're all over the place. So then these, so so I started having sparrows come around. Well, then they, the house sparrows started coming around. So I was kind of wondering what to do. Well, I read that if you uh, just have the house sparrows feeder uh, away from everything else. So this is the side of my house. The All my other feeders are along the, in my backyard. Um, if you just give them their own feeder, they'll just stay at their own feeder and you'll kind of keep them away from everyone else. So that's what I've been doing. But then this side of my house faces my neighbor's side of his house and yesterday I was looking out my bedroom window and I in the trees they have right here I just saw dozens and dozens and dozens of house sparrows they were all over the place so wherever these house sparrows came from they brought all their friends and family they were just all over the place so now I'm like like should I start worrying about this because purple martins and bluebirds are birds that I specifically want in my yard so easiest solution seems to be just stop feeding them corn and millet um, put out foods that they're not gonna eat the way I understand it is sparrows don't like stuff with shells like shelled peanuts shelled sunflowers um, they also don't eat safflower or uh, thistle seed so I think those are the foods I'm gonna stick to at all my other feeders um, I think that's the easy solution is just stop feeding them for now. Um, and that seems to be, you know, I, I don't want to trap them or anything like that, you know. Um, so, you know, just short of trapping them or um, putting out noise machines that, that uh, put out a sparrow distress call, um, I think the easiest solution would be just to stop feeding them for now. But if you guys have any tips for me on how to keep house sparrows away um you know let me know and you know it, like i said if if you're if you're not looking for to, to bring bluebirds or purple martins into your yard you know then you might be fine with the house sparrows go ahead and feed them in your yard or or whatever but um as as for right now I, i'm i'm gonna try to get rid of them so um yeah, uh, just let me know uh, if you guys have any solutions, and thanks for watching.